Cut Deep is my best level yet, probably. It's my new easy demon that I released a few days ago, and I'm genuinely really proud of what I did with this level. So, I want to make a video all about how I made it, going through each part and talking about the creative processes that led to each one turning out how it did. I hope you enjoy. As of recording, it's been about 24 hours roughly since I released the level, and already it's got an epic easy demon second place on the feature tab, and it has like 1700 comments. What the freak? That is insane. So right off the bat, before I get into it, I just want to say thank you all so much for the unbelievable support on this level. I didn't know if anyone was going to like this level when I started it. Honestly, I thought it was so quirky and so different that it might just not be something people enjoy playing, but I guess I was wrong and I'm very happy that I was. If you don't know, this level is a sequel to my older level, Razor Blade, which I released about seven months ago. That level was inspired by the album Cross by Justice, its visuals and its sound kind of just like the whole vibe of it so going into a sequel level that uses a song that sounds absolutely nothing like justice at all i wasn't sure how to make this a good sequel while still letting it be its own thing however that being said i think i did exactly that my main goal when starting this and when building the whole level was to really just kind of build on every single idea that razor blade had and make it better you know and make it new and different and fresh and unique but i think this level is better in every way but with that out of the way let's check out the first part this easily is the part that went through the most like changes i'll show an old recording of it on screen right now but basically the whole part looked pretty different aside from like the background what the i just got a subscriber live on recording thanks asmodeus for subscribing i actually have a very very old copy of this level still left oh oh this part looks so bad my original block design made out of these objects which look really bad and then i was like oh let's do another block design so i did this and it looks equally as bad i don't know what i was thinking it's literally just one particle trigger for the background and that's it when i was like 75 percent done with the level i ended up going back into it back into the first part and remaking it almost from scratch which is how we end up with this block design judge sent me some concept art for a block design i could use and i basically just took that and ran with it gave my a bit of my own spin on it and it turned out really good this part is actually the one i completed first the day before i released my previous level love you less i got kind of i got kind of inspired i was like you know what if i did something with this malware halo song level i have so i made this flip an insane looking wave part in about a night and that was that and that's where this level began it was pretty much good from the beginning which was you love to see that i don't think that can be said for any other part in the level almost all of them went through many many phases of design for the third part this is another one i had an idea for like from the very beginning i knew i wanted to have like really interesting and like kind of abstract structures almost and i wanted to give them parallax because parallax effects are awesome i'm addicted to parallax i mean have you seen my uh, 100 layer parallax like that's that's what i do dude <laughs> they're too good once i did the parallax that was basically the biggest aspect of the part done honestly a lot of the fixes i did for this third part were done pretty recently i kind of i kind of put off doing anything good for this part for a very long time as you can see the original background pretty lame all it is is another particle trigger i don't know what was up with me and lazy particle trigger backgrounds for when i was building this i went back and i remade the background pretty recently it's probably like a week ago and i'm so glad i did because that made this part look so much better this background is so lame i actually cannot believe it other than that this part's pretty simple there's not a lot to it speaking of simple parts uh the simplest part in the whole level and probably the most decisive is the fourth part probably not a super bold decision but for my standard it's a pretty bold decision i put like no air deco and no block design and no designs at all in this part i made this as a very very aware creative decision because the song with the hemlock lips is literally only red. vocals and those five noises right so I wanted to match that contrast in the song with the level. And I think I did that perfectly. I drew art of a hemlock and I drew art of a render seam ripping. And I put that around the lyrics and I think that worked perfectly for this part. I think it matches the song so flawlessly. I wouldn't have done it any differently. Then of course we have the drop uh the most intense part of the level this drop absolutely took me the longest to make out of any other part in the en entire level it's kind of ridiculous a lot of it was just struggling to come up with ideas that looked like really good first thing i made was the background which it's kind of hard to tell but if you stare into the center of it you'll see that not only is it rotating but it's actually scaling up in a loop over and over again which makes it look like you're like moving into the background and when i sketched out this part that's like the exact background i had sketched out and like i had in mind so you love to see something i sketched out working first try most of like the the regular looking block designs and stuff i sketched out were basically scrapped because i went for a very much more like artistic 
vibe with it you know once i had the background done and i had some like the overlays and some of the pulses finished it was time to work on a block design and that was easier said than done for me i had to kind of just come up with something new for this part and i think what i did was really cool i have like a regular block design under here that just pulses on the beat and then i drew like sharp jagged like freaky structures on top of them and i think that was the best decision i could have made because i think this block design fits the vibe of this part so well in my opinion even if it took me like a week to fill in all of the blocks because it's so hard there's like seven layers to this block design but it was worth it it was also around this time that i decided i wanted to try an impact frame for the first time which if you don't know impact frames are something in animation where an animator will give extra contrast to a couple of frames to give it a lot of intensity and that's what i did right there i can't even put into words how hyped i was when i made that that was my first time ever trying something like that and i think it turned out pretty sick so what I have is I have an inverse frame where everything turns black and the background is white. Then I have that invert. Then I have this crack animation start. Then I have an invert frame here as well where everything turns yellow. And that is the impact frame. And I was so proud of that. And I still am. Honestly, I still am so proud of that. Other than that, for this drop part, the one thing I did know what I was going to do from the very start was these ball part like intermissions i wanted to have border and i wanted to make the whole part black and yellow just like razor blade a lot of this level mixes in colors a lot more frequently which i think is a good thing but i want to pay a bit of a proper tribute to razor blade i also made these kind of cool structures very akin to what i made in razor blade but i did them with an area move trigger this first half of the drop took about three weeks to make which is almost half the time I spent making the entire level, which is insane to think about. I wouldn't really touch this part because I had no ideas for it and I would just polish up the rest of it. So I guess it wasn't really three weeks straight on the same part. Once I had finished the first half of this drop and I made a transition for it, I could finally move on to this duel, which I was so hyped to make. For a while, honestly, I didn't have a lot of ideas for it. But then one night, I built almost the entire thing in a single sitting. And I, I just popped off. I don't know what happened. I don't know what came over me. But I had, like, all the inspiration in the world. This part was very inspired by Balonzik's part in Babylon. I really liked the way not only Balonzik's part, but the whole level used these lines that appear on the blocks. I really wanted to do something with, like, rising line loops again. That's the first thing I did. I drew up this kind of weird-looking block design. It's definitely out there. It's just, like, a shape with some interesting angles on it. And then I gave it the repeating line effect and that was basically the whole block design this part went through the fewest changes of any part in the entire level which is insane because it's probably almost certainly the best part of the level so i guess i just got blessed i got blessed by rob top himself to make an insane part first try which i think i needed because i was getting pretty tired of building this level up to this point i have an old video that i'm gonna pull up and show on screen right now it is an effect that i had the idea for since the first part in razor blade because if you look at the first part in razor blade i kind of accidentally made it and when i was building razor blade i was like oh man i should try that like same effect for like a background uh, and i never did and then in cut deep i was like oh man i should try that effect for background and then i waited till the very final part to do it but at least i did it the base of the part is just the block design and the background right and then it's just a whole bunch of extra stuff for some reason i just decided to make a huge insane parallax on the ground I don't know why I did that. This kind of stems from my first idea I had for a background for this part. It was going to kind of be like the background for the duel and jump grinder, but I decided that wouldn't look as good as doing what I did. So I repurposed that idea and made it into some definitely over the top ground decoration, but I think it works. I think it looks pretty sick. So it's fine. Then I want to add some shaders to this part, right? Some like chromatic glitches some radial blurs just to add a little bit of intensity. So I hit up my boy Zyron. I saw your new level dog. That stuff was insane. Teach me your ways. So he, he cooked a little bit. He, he ended the level back with some unfreaking real shaders, right? The one he did that I kept, like an insane, absolutely unreal chromatic glitch, like two screen inversions. Stuff is nuts, dude. Zyron absolutely popped off, which is why he's in the end screen, by the way. He did not play test this level, but he did help me a lot with the shader triggers. So, you know, I had to do him right in the end screen. There he is. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is these 3d symbols these gosh dang 3d symbols and they're just custom art i just made custom art one day of the symbols right i was like okay i want to make something really cool that i can promote this level with right so i got to work i spent like an hour and a half and i made this insane looking or i think it looks insane 3d art of all five symbols in the level you have the first four which were in razor blade and then the fifth one which i added in cut deep to be fair i only used them twice I use them a lot more for promotion and like promotional art and stuff, but I use them once in the very intro, which is cool. The first thing you see in game is like insane looking 3D art. And then of course, I also use them for the duel. The next thing I wanna show, the first thing I had in mind when making this level,
level or at the very least the layout for this duel in the song there's a part of it that just goes Free! that is not normally in that part of the song i use song triggers to splice that in so if i delete these song triggers you'll be able to hear what the song is supposed to sound like here there's no free in the second half of the song there's a second drop and in it there's the free vocal right so what i did is i turned every object black the background white. Yellow. i made stars around the player that scale in and pulse in a circle i made text that says free show up with a little bit of an animation and then i made this platform disappear with a custom animated circle animation this is for one second dude i'm an idiot why would i ever spend that much time put that much effort into something that you see for a frame but when it plays out in game i think it ends up looking pretty freaking sick there's another animation of this part and it's right here but i think this one's pretty noticeable right there i have the eye symbol just open up right originally i had that eye animation for the transition in this part which looked horrible the animation was completely freaked up i made it on stream i was devastated i was so disappointed with it it was absolutely awful and I, I was just gonna completely scrap it. I made that whole eye animation. I made a custom high quality version of the first symbol and I was literally just gonna scrap it, but I didn't. And then just randomly, I just decided, you know, like, what if I just bring the eye animation back? And that's what I did. When I tell you I popped freaking off when I made it, dude, I was so hyped. To say the least, I was excited about it, and I still think it is one of the things that makes this duel the best part in the level, like, hands down. And other than that, and a couple other animations and tiny stuff for that end wave, that was the duel part done. The only other thing I did was an end screen. I saw someone post in my server a GIF where they had all five symbols flashing in a loop just over and over again, and then they had a sixth one that showed the letter of the title. And I thought that was really cool, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. What if I had it like, like a Matrix glitchy title, right? And that's exactly what I did for the end screen. And then the only other thing I did was obviously use the 3D symbols again, and then I put the names of dedications and play testers on the sides of the screen and that was it it's pretty simple but i don't think it needed to be any more complicated than that i think that is a pretty gosh dang good end screen and with that what is almost certainly my best level yet by a long shot was complete all i had to do was polish some stuff up and release it on stream and that's exactly what i did i also wanted to shout out free 99 free 99 is such a sick artist their music is so nuts when i discovered this song like a couple months ago now it was a while ago i knew i wanted to make like a super flashy level with it but i never ever thought that would end up being an easy demon razor blade sequel you know this level is a pretty big deviation from my regular style right when i think about my style i think of like you know jf inspired stuff right and i feel like a lot of people can probably agree with that but honestly with this level i didn't take a lot of inspiration i guess i could say my biggest inspiration for this was gosh dang the band justice so big shout outs to them but yeah that's about it i just want to make a video going through every part and showing how everything kind of developed there's a lot of stuff that ended up getting changed and like reworked throughout the existence of this level it was quite the journey i mean it did take me two months most levels take me about two weeks so overall i am so beyond happy with how this turned out and hopefully you guys enjoy it it got rated easy demon definitely easier than that i'd say it's overall probably about a nine star the balancing is also kind of weird but it's fine I, but i almost ended the video without saying this i need to give a shout out to my freaking goats my boy viprin hit me with the upload of this level 15 minutes after it came out that is so insane dude thank you to viprin thank you to nexus who also uploaded this video like five minutes before i started recording this video and thank you to rob top for giving it epic easy demon features solo easy demon and i'm excited about it i'm very excited to continue creating from here i feel like i'm improving really fast right now so it's a very exciting time but yeah with that being said thank you guys so much for watching uh go play the level stop scrolling right now and yeah with that being said